Hi, Kim Bard here with Usborn Books and More, your Usborn Books Fairy. And I have my helper here today, Abby. And we're here to share with you some of the new read aloud books, learning to read, as well as picture books and awesome bedtime stories. Awesome. Super excited. So we're going to start with the beginning to read. You're going to notice that they do have the numbers on the books. And what that means is one is for new readers. Two is for developing readers, and three is for confident readers. So you're going to see the difference in the amount of words on the page. So I love this new book, The Greedy Dog. He wants a bone, and then he goes and he sees him, his reflection, and he thinks that bone is bigger, so he tries to take that bone. And, of course, we know what happens. He loses his bone, and he's sad. So he learns a moral at the end yes. of the story. There is comprehension questions at the end of these books, which is fabulous. The other ones that we have that are newer is Old MacDonald Had a Farm and is that it? Yeah. Okay, I guess that's all. <laughs> and then number two. So the number two level books, I want you to see a little bit more reading in that. And we have Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, The Tin Soldier, and lots more in our catalog with this. And then number three, we have The Trojan Horse and Story of Unicorns. And there is, you can see the amount of writing is a lot. But a lot it's more. nice to have that magazine read where there's a picture image on yeah. every page. It keeps it interesting. Yeah, it totally does. And you used to love that unicorn book. <gasps> They brought I it back. I remember this book. Yeah, they brought it back. That's so, so cool. We're super this excited. This is a good book, people. We are excited. So that's some of the some of them. We have a lot more in this Read with Usborne series. And then some new picture books we have is I Can I Do It Like This and The Prince and the Witch and the Thief and the Bears. It is hilarious. This is actually a really funny book. Abby actually read this to me because it was so funny. So what it is, is it's this little boy and his dad's reading, telling him a story. And the son keeps adding parts. You know how that goes. So he keeps trying to add to the story. And it is really funny. Yeah. Of course, they're adding funny things like, what? How far away was the kingdom? The kingdom. And what about the bears? And so he keeps adding these funny parts. And is it going to be a prince or a princess? And at the end, he has to create some pretty funny solutions for what the son is asking him to add to the this story. This is a great bedtime story. The best read aloud. You're going to giggle yeah. and laugh along with your kids. And this is exactly how story time actually goes at home, which is even more yes. funny. And then um, I do it like this. So, uh, it talks about how we eat versus how an animal would eat, which is really funny. Um, this is how we move versus how an animal would move. Boing, a kangaroo bounces. Can you bounce too? Boing, so it's, boing. Yeah, so it's asking for some interactive activities for your kids to participate in. Beautifully illustrated, I must say. I really yeah. love this. Again, these Kane Miller books are designed to get your kids to interact, have some feelings associated with it, and really have that... Um, conversation with your yeah. kids. So, looking for some bedtime stories? We found them. We got you. We got it. That's right. So, thanks for joining us, and we'll be back. Asborn Books Fairy is always here to help you find the perfect books for your kiddos. Okay. Bye. Bye.